Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to recreate JRY Media's car wheels changing effect easy and fast. First of all let's download some wheels photos, I will download mine from apxels.com. You can get a PNG format from Google but, they are not good at quality, I prefer to get mine on pexels in high resolution and then mask out the wheels. Once you have downloaded yours, drop them to the timeline and let's mask out the rims only. To mask out you can use an ellipse tool, a roto brush tool or a mocha AE. I will use Mocha. In Mocha select Ellipse tool and mask the rim, then click on Save button and close Mocha. Now expand matte and click on, Apply matte. Cool, you have now a only rim layer in a high resolution. Do the same masking to all of your wheel photos. I will skip that part. Once you are done with masking the rims, toggle off all of them for a while, then select your video, go to Tracker and click on, Track Camera. As the analyzing is done, select all points on the wheel. Right click and select, create null, and camera. Now toggle on one of your rims layer and link it to track null, also enable 3D on that layer. Now change X, Y, and Z rotations, also position the rim so it looks realistic. The rim is tracked to the car perfectly, I like it. Now toggle on another rim layer, link it to track null and enable 3D on it, then do the same, scale it, change X, Y and Z rotations and position it. Once you are happy with it, toggle on next wheel and do the same, I will skip that part, you already know how to do it. Once you are done with all wheel layers, toggle on all of them. Let's check JRY Media's video. As we can see his rims are simply changing and at the beginning of the effect he has shake and lights effect. Let's do the same, cut your wheel layer like this. Nice, well changing is almost the same, I like it. Now let's add shake and lights effect to our clip like in JRY's video. I will create new adjustment layer and will skip that part, I have already made a JRY's shakes tutorial, check this video. Once this video hits 500 likes, I will drop another JRY media's shake effects. Check the video link in description. In effects panel you can see what effects I use to make shakes and lights but, secret sauce is hidden. Lastly let's make a quick speed ramp. Note, you can first do a speed ramp of the video then make will changing effect, it's up to you. Let's pre-compose all layers except shakes into the one layer. Then right click on pre-composed layer go to time and select, enable time remapping. Go forward to the moment where you want to end your video, in my case my ending of the video will be here, so I will move the last keyframe there. Cut the rest of the video what's after the keyframe, then select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click there and select, edit value graph. Make a smooth curve like mine or you can play around the curve until you are happy. Nice, I like the results. Lastly let's add motion blur. If you have RSMB plugin, use this one, if not, use CC Force Motion Blur, it work fine as well. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.